Immediate conversation in English. Intermediate one. Lesson one. Have we met before? Speak up. Page seven. C. Act out. Excuse me. Are you Susan Wells? Yes, that's me. And you must be Nicholas Crawford. That's right. But call me Nick, please. Okay, Nick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So uh, the main idea of the last was was to uh, teach you that uh, there are several expressions in English, and uh, besides you can choose one, there are you can you can also choose another way to express yourself. So instead of saying "nice to meet you," you could have said "pleased to meet you" or "pleased to meet you." Would have the same effect. It is a matter of whether you choose this word, that one, or this this expression or that expression and uh, when you reply you you, you 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 always can repeat what the other said or in the end you put too glad to meet too pleased to meet you too or you just can uh, uh, meet you it's like a, a short expression and the tip or oh, that is 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 could be given is that uh, first of all know that uh, nice to meet you is used in a in a situation in which the two people have already met before. So because, uh, at least in my, my case, you also have the idea that uh, you, you, you can use nice to meet, please to meet you, just when you met the person for the first time. And the, in that case, they, they have already met before. So they're just like he uh, recognize each other. And in that case, you, can, you also can use nice to meet, you, please to meet you. That's all, therefore, you can use nice to meet you in, in, the, in any equivalent sentence. Uh, Either, either when you meet someone for the first time or when you meet uh, that person that you have never seen before or for a long time. On the reply, we, uh, see that Susan uh, used the word to. To is a kind of, let's say, to say that you agree with what, with what he, 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 he or the person said. However, there, uh, there is another way that in the case you have a negative sentence, you cannot use to, you have to use either. As one example, they could have said, I'm not happy to see you. Maybe they are angry with each other, or maybe they, they are a person that they never met, but they don't like each other. So they were, the other one could reply in case they agree, uh, I'm not happy to meet you either. So it's a kind of uh, just negative expression.